Please subscribe to this channel for more videos related to Catholic Christian teaching. The Fourth Lateran Council teaches in the Creed Caput Firmiter that the three divine persons are the one principle of the universe. The most important dogmatic statement on creation in the history of the Catholic Church was the Firmiter decree of the Fourth Lateran Council in 1215. According to this decree, God, creator of all visible and invisible things, of the spiritual and of the corporal, who by his own omnipotent power at once, from the beginning of time, created each creature from nothing, spiritual and corporal, namely, angelic and mundane, and finally, the human, constituted, as it were, alike of the spirit and the body. The Fourth Lateran Council was the twelfth ecumenical council of the Catholic Church, convened by Pope Innocent III in 1215. This council was significant for its reformation of clerical discipline and its definitive statement of the doctrine of transubstantiation. The Council of Florence declares in the Decretum Pro Jacobitis, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are not three principles of creation but one principle. Tritheism is opposed to this teaching of the Church because it denies not only the unity of the Divine Being but also the unity of the Divine Operations. According to Anton Gunter, the realization of the Divine World idea is exclusively the work of the second person and the restoration of creation to God is exclusively the work of the third person. Tritheism is a polytheistic non-Trinitarian form of Christianity in which the unity of the Trinity and thus monotheism are denied. Tritheism asserts that rather than one God and three persons, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are three separate gods. Christ testifies to the unity of his working with the Father and bases it on the unity of nature. For whatever he does, these the Son also does in like manner. But the Father who abides in me is he who does the same works. Sacred scripture also asserts the unity of the operations of the divine persons by ascribing the same works to different persons. For example, the realization of the Incarnation, the bestowal of the supernatural gifts of grace, and the forgiveness of sins. The Fathers based the unity of operations on the unity of divine nature, which is the Principium Quo, the principle by which of divine activity. St. Augustine comments, As the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are inseparable, so they work inseparably. 
the works of the Trinity are inseparable. Please go to YouTube Retirement Talty channel, playlist, Dogma and God for the complete series of these materials.